Today on the channel, a storm is brewing as from the X-Men animated series wave, we've got Storm. The spirit of the Living Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another X-Men animated series unboxing and review. And today on the channel... We got the Hasbro Pulse Disney Store shared exclusive of Storm. But for all your other Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We got some comparisons later on in the video as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging here. Hits you right in the nostalgia feels as a lot of us 90s kids do. Of course, the animated series, a big, big deal for us. And it is coming back to Disney Plus in 2023. Kind of an updated version with the same kind of animation style. Man, give me G.I. Joe like that. Do that to G.I. Joe. That's what I want to see. We'll see. It might happen. You never stranger things have happened. You got X-Men, you got Storm, you got that beautiful animation there. Very bright and colorful packaging. Really does stand out. Very cool VHS style packaging, as you guys know about these. Looks really good on your shelf, all lined up together. That is my master plan for sure. Looking really nice right there. Marvel Comics. I love that Marvel Comics logo at the top there. Same thing on the other side here. And then, of course, the back of the package. We got the blur. We got the UPC. We got the warning. We got all the fun stuff. Let's read the back, see what it says about old Storm back here. With her weather manipulation powers, Storm can summon lightning across the sky or gentle rain over a parched land. Oh, good for her. Good for her. A very, very good looking storm here. Uh, a little similarities of ones we've had in the past, and that's where the uh, showing at the very end of the video, we'll do a little comparison action here. There's not a lot going on in this thing. Plastic free packaging all in there in the cardboard, of course. Uh, folding it back up. As I said, I'm keeping these nice and nice and uh, off to the side. See you later. Very gentle. Now we got parchment paper. We got it all wrapped up in the old parchment paper. Uh, very Fortnite-esque, and I think this is the wave of the future on a lot of things. Uh, most of us do not like it, but it is what it is. That's, I guess, uh, the wave of the future. You can't can't stop progress, as one uh, musician might have said at one time. Ah, uh, bam! Spider-Man style. See you later. Very, very cool. Looking at these accessories first. Now, we have not had these with Storm before. Usually when we get the effect pieces for Storm, they're usually the ones that you put on the arms and stuff. These are actually off the hand, and I've got to think we've seen these before. Was it Eel maybe had these? I'm not sure if 100% identical. I think it was Eel back in the day. But what they remind me of mostly is from the uh, Star Wars Black series. It was an Amazon exclusive. Uh, and I, think, I don't know if the Archive Edition has it or not, but the Emperor, of course, he had hands like this uh, shooting out his effects. So very, very cool. I don't know, but I like this. I like this better than the things that you put over the hands. That gets really old. They kind of wear out over time. You're going to see it here shortly. But I like that. That's something I did not know that was in here. Now let's get her out of this bag. Very, very strange, these bags here. But it is what it is. It is the future. It's a thing of the future. We even got a little cardboard in there to keep her straight, I guess. Bam, see you later. Spider-Man style, Psh, see you later again. All right, now we get Storm out of the package. And oh boy. Now, this is cooler than I expected it to be, so I was a little down on this one. Going into this one, I said, ah, Storm, we've had so many. Uh, I get you have to have her, but it wasn't one I was just like, oh, I can't wait for this Storm. But that being said, this thing is actually better outside of the package than I anticipated it to be. So that is always a positive. That's always a plus, starting in the right direction here. Let's break this figure down a little bit. Let's start with the head. Huge, huge white hairdo going on for Storm. Uh, beautiful color, beautiful tone to the skin. It's a beautiful, uh, just very, very, not overly glossy, not overly dark, just about perfect for Storm here. Nice gold earrings really setting that off. And then the hair throughout, the huge hair. She's obviously known for her huge hair. Uh, she does have her great 80s, 90s shoulder pads with the X logos on them. Looking good. We got cell shading throughout on this one. It's a, it's a custom in this line here, but it does look really good. It looks better on here than, let's say, that Mr. Sinister, where it just kind of looked a little strange. I think this looks really good, and this is how I really do remember Storm. When I think of Storm a lot, and a lot of X-Men characters, I usually go to the animated series because it was such a big deal uh, for us kids at the time. You know, A lot of us were reading the comic books. To be able to read the comics and also watch the cartoon, it was a thing of beauty back then, and it still is now today. Uh, but it does look really good. And then, you, of course, you got her 
I don't know, is this a cape? Can you classify this as a cape? What do you even call this? This, this I call this a nuisance if I'm her. It's like, this stuff's getting in the way all the time. What do I have to have this for? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but it is nice that it has a little uh, elastic band kind of here. You pull the hands off, and this will come out with it. Uh, so when you're replacing the hands, you just got to be a little careful on that. Uh, and it looks like this thing is in there pretty good. So you're not going to remove it from the figure unless you really want to cut it out. Uh, but it does go to the whole Storm uh, aesthetics. We're used to her with things like this on the side, but it is very paper thin, does get a little bit wrinkly. Uh, it's got the you know yellow on the piping outside, little black cell shading lines, then gray primarily in the middle, a bluish gray. Uh, she is all white all over her costume, but then you've got the cell shading in the black, of course. Uh, the red X-Men logos I talked about really does help the overall color to this one, I think. Uh, Articulation-wise, uh, it's an old-school female figure. I'm always worried I'm going to rip one of these uh, cape deals or not or whatever, uh, but I think it's going to be okay. But articulation-wise, hands removable. you got that extra set with the effects on it. Single-jointed elbows, of course, shoulders up, down, all around. These shoulder guards do move out of the way for you. Nice hula hoop going on. A big hula hoop, actually, more than I assumed she would have. No waist. Oh, no, take that back, maybe. Nope, nope, no waist there. She does got a thigh cut. She does got double jointed knees. We do have pins here. And then we got the nice ankle rockers on the small feet. Uh, but a very, very good looking storm figure. Let's see, does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. And man, she fits like a glove on the ringside stand. The best, most versatile stands in the game, if you ask me. But she fits perfectly right there. Now, I was expecting this figure to look a lot more like this one. Now, I believe this is the retro one. Uh, this was from a few years ago. It was on the old retro card. Uh, we got, whoops, going to fall over here, Storm. Uh, we got a lot of difference here. Of course, she's got the ungloved hands on the new one where the hands are gloved on this. A very interesting grayish, darkish wash to the hair here with a totally different hair sculpt, totally different head. This is more rising up. Her eyes are all white on this one. Uh, you do got the X logo. You do got the shoulder pads. Of course, the body is the same. Uh, but enough differences to be dangerous, I would call this. And, of course, the cape is the exact same thing. I definitely prefer the cape on this one uh, to this one at the time. I'm going to put her on a stand as well just to get her out of the way. Uh, maybe. I use her on a flight stand on my uh, actual display, and she does not want to stand today. Yeah, she does not want to stand. So we got we got Storm. Yeah, she's just going to lay over there. But that's the retro version. This is the animated one. And then throwing it way back, way back to the old Toy Biz days. I mean, I think I have this exact figure in white, gray, and black. She came in many different colors. I don't think her... No, nope, battery doesn't work in this one anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but heck, we've come a long ways from the old days, haven't we? A long, long ways. But man, this is a good-looking figure of Storm. This is better than expected. And like I said, I didn't have very high hopes for this one. Uh, so I'm all in. I'm all in on the Storm. This was a worthy pickup for me. And of course, you got to complete the VHS tape set. I'm all in on that. I think the next one we'll probably get is Jean Grey, I have to think. Uh, we know Cyclops will probably be coming eventually. I don't know what they're going to do about Beast. Will we get a Beast? Uh, we know we got a retro carded Beast announced at San Diego Comic-Con coming soon, so it might be a ways before we get Beast. Got to think we're going to get Magneto, maybe even Sauron. Uh, who knows what we could get in that animated wave. Uh, could we finally get the Blob back out there? Could we get Avalanche? Could they give us figures we haven't gotten traditional Legends? Uh, a lot to go and a lot to find out, and we'll be here for it on the channel as we always are, so... Make sure you subscribe, hit the old notification bell, of course, and leave me your comments down below on this Storm figure in the animated wave. What are your thoughts? All in, all out, picking and choosing? Let me know in the comments. And of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow along on Patreon for this video and many other videos much, much earlier. Of course, bonus content, exclusive content, and monthly giveaways over there, and truly your best way to support the channel. Uh, social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. ProWrestlingTees.com, pick up a t-shirt, support the channel. So for Storm and the X-Men Animated Series, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.